welcome to Birmingham, where we're here to take a look at the Orange Readers' Day, which is being put on by Birmingham Book Festival. The sun's shining outside. We're very excited about the day. Well, a day is really about bringing writers face to face with readers. Um, obviously, a lot of people consider reading and, and writing to be a relatively solitary activity, but we found certainly in the West Midlands that readers like nothing better than to meet writers. My name's Karen, I'm going to be uh, live vlogging the event today. The Orange Prize of Fiction um, is a really fantastic way to promote women's writing, um, which is a really important tradition. Today is the biggest ever opportunity we have to bring writers and readers together. We've got 500 readers coming from across the whole of the West Midlands. We've got eight terrific writers, all associated with the Orange Prize. The writers will be talking about their work with Kate Moss, who founded the prize. I'm really looking forward to seeing so we're here in the boardroom, which is the hub, the powerhouse of today's event. I'm going to try and pull some people over, lure them over to give us a little bit of background about who they are and what they're doing here today. Hello, I'm Joanne Harris. I'm the author of Chocolat, Blackberry Wine, Five Thoughts of the Orange, and most recently, The Lollipop Shoes and Room Marks. I'm Sadie Jones, and uh, my book, The Outcast, was shortlisted for um, The Orange last year. Um, and my second book, Small Wars, is coming out in September. Hello, I'm Catherine O'Flynn. Uh, I have one novel that's been published called What Was Lost. My name's Diana Evans. I'm the author of 26A. I'm Charlotte Mendelssohn. I'm the author of When We Were Bad, which was shortlisted for last year's Orange Prize. I've been a judge for the Orange Prize, and I've been associated with it ever since, and it's very nice to be here uh, talking about books again. 26A was winner of the Orange Award for New Writers. It was longlisted for the Orange Prize, I think, in 2007, I think. So I shouldn't really be here, because I think this is only supposed to be shortlisted and winners. <laughs> but I'm just an interloper, and I'm waiting for a member of the audience to spot that and uh, denounce me. Now we're going to go in and see what they have to say in the main hall. My name is Kate Moss, and I'm one of the founders and the honorary director of the Orange There are two things that I, I love about doing events like the Orange Readers Day. Firstly, to have so many fantastic novelists in one place and be allowed to just sit there and ask them questions. That is fantastic. It's always nice to see readers and people who care about books and it's always nice to be able to celebrate books and have the opportunity to do that. It's lovely to meet other writers and have conversations with them and it's lovely to meet readers as well and just hear the, kind of the, the ways in which they've interpreted your work or you know, what they like and dislike. Well, I do love meeting readers. I love doing the questions because it's so interesting hearing what people think about one's book. Well, I'm excited about it because it's not just a gathering of really top class writers but also a, an immense gathering of very excited readers. And Birmingham is a very literary and artistic city but I don't think in the wider country people have that perception of it. The other thing that I suppose I really love is members of the audience coming up and saying... You know, every year I wait for the Orange shortlist to be announced and I choose my reading because of the books on the Orange list. Today is about giving people reading lives an extra burst of energy which will hopefully last until the, the whole year. 